The advice for students, the biggest and best bit of advice I can give to any student is never let any old fart professor tell you what can't be done. Never. If you have a passion for something, be it astrobiology or anything else, then, then just pursue that. And if, if you're really deeply interested by these deep questions, uh, by kind of profound questions that, that are of this type or and as many others, um, then um, yeah, pursuing curiosity is, is, a, is a wonderful thing. Follow your interests. Question everything. Test everything. Question, and if you don't understand something, write it down. Make a list for yourself. Study a, a particular area or areas. Start off in a conventional area where you can get a really good degree and get depth of knowledge. And then with that depth of knowledge, go out into astrobiology and expand into breadth. And then as you go forward in your career, you'll always have that one area of science where you've got really good depth and someone will know, yeah, that's the chemist that does astrobiology. You develop a sense of research accomplishment on things you can do in this planet. Make sure you're very good in one aspect of that multidisciplinary field, whether it's chemistry, whether it's biology, whether it's astronomy, make sure that you have your, you know, your foot firmly planted in one of those disciplines. So you have to get good at something so you can make a contribution, but then you want to broaden yourself. So what I would highly recommend is learning some of these other fields that are, or that are kept separate in academia, but are not separate for what you will need. Um, learn to speak them like a native. I would say don't consider yourself an astrobiologist. Consider yourself a scientist investigating the universe. Remember to suspend disbelief and... Um, suspend disbelief. Yes. That means belie believe. Believe. That's right. And in, so you want to believe? Yes. And so read, read all the science fiction you can get your hand on, hands on because actually that will help you to understand what's plausible and what's not. Uh, read books, walk in the country, take the earphones out. Uh, Study plenty of math. <laughs> well, students will be watching this video and some of them will want to become astrobiologists. Do you have any advice for these future astrobiologists of the world? Run away, run away, <laughs> don't do it. <sighs> to my mind, this is a very dangerous field to get into because it's basically, it's a speculative field. There is no data, to, well, there are null results at this point. Uh, so I think it starts becoming very interesting once we have the first microbe from Mars or something like that until that stage. Uh, it's speculative. I think there's probably more people working in it than we really need to work in it given the complete lack of data. I think it's a great topic because it, it seriously, it's, it's interdisciplinary. Uh, it asks you to think about change, so history, it asks you to think about great chemistry, biology, astronomy, but philosophy as well. So I really love it as a topic because it, it has all of that boundary crossing complexity about it. And I think if you have a, a hungry mind and a curious mind, this is one of the most satisfying spaces to work in. Well, it's a great field. It's, it's still growing, you know, science is having trouble with funding and, you know, the, it's, it's not a vastly growing enterprise, it's under stress, but astrobiology is very interdisciplinary. It does attach to big foundational questions. And so, you know, if you're willing to take some chances with a career, because carving out the path is not as obvious as if you want to be a solid state physicist, here's what you do and here's where you study and here's where you go. Mm -hmm. So I, I still think it's a, it's a good thing. Absolutely. Go into it. Full, <laughs> full bore. Learn as much as you can. Read about everything. I think the reason I got excited about astrobiology is because I think actually it's, it's a very challenging discipline because I've got to be able to speak to people like Charlie Lineweaver or astrophysicists who do things that I have no conception of. But we've got to find a way of merging all these things together to get a better understanding. And I, I think we're at the edge of a really challenging era where we're combining what used to be silos into this much larger discipline. And it's really a whole natural systems kind of investigation to understand how planets work, how you know gravitational waves affect this, how biology affects chemistry, and all those things are now being integrated. That's fantastic.